the Venetian canals have become shallow. Locals have wondered what caused the muddy bottom to become exposed in some places. How extraordinary is this phenomenon? What is the cause? Astronomical processes, drought, or a Turkish earthquake? A little bit later about that. I've never seen such drought in Venus, where there were completely different problems. I've never seen anything like this. It's crazy. On February 2023, Venice's famous canals become more like streams. There is no other transport in the city except water transport. The work is hampered not only for the well-known gondolas, but also for vaporators, river streetcars, and this is the main type of public transport in the island part of the city. The work of city services, in particular ambulances, is hampered as well. Some canals are sometimes impossible to move through at all. On February 2023, the water level in them dropped to 70 centimeters. I see that sometimes the canal becomes impossible and the gondoliers probably use other routes. Many suffers from a rare low tide, which is exceptional not so much in absolute terms, but in its duration. The frequency of low tides has decreased over the past few decades, and today they are considered somewhat exceptional. Their number decreased from more than 100 times a year to isolated cases. Moreover, in northern Italy, water levels in the lakes and rivers have dropped to historic lows. The country's longest river, the Po, now has 60% less water than usual at this time of year. However, some experts say that such a catastrophic water level is not a direct result of the drought. The lack of rain has only exacerbated the situation. Returning to the causes of the shallowing of Venice's canals, astronomical and meteorological factors such as atmospheric pressure, winds and sea currents are among them. Many also attribute the phenomenon to the recent earthquake that occurred on February 20 in Turkey. Since almost at the same time, sea levels dropped sharply in Italy, Turkey, Lebanon, Israel and Cyprus. Perhaps as a result of the shifting of the tectonic plates, voids have been formed, into which the sea is sinking. If it's so, the world's oceans will soon make up for the lack of water and the water level will rise up again. But if water escapes through faults into the Earth's interior and comes into contact with magma, an avalanche-like evaporation will begin, which will lead to even more catastrophic earthquakes and floods. You can learn more about the causes of climate change on the planet from the conferences and forums prepared by participants of the Creative Society project.